Okay, for 5b, we have another one where we have to divide and write in standard form. So the procedure that we talked about before is you want to always multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So conjugate is the same thing with a plus sign, opposite sign. So what you do the bottom, you have to also do the top. This way we're multiplying by a power of 1 and then we're not changing our original problem. So we have it set up that way. We're going to multiply across the top, across the bottom. Let's do the bottom one first. We do 2 times 2 is 4. Then we get 6i and minus 6i cancels out and you get minus 9i squared. Now on top you're going to do 52 times 2, that's 104i. And then we're going to do 52 times 3, that's going to be 156, but that's going to be uh, i squared. So once you get done with that, that step, any i squares that you have, you always want to put negative 1 in for that, so that way you can reduce it more. So I got on the top 104i plus 156 times negative 1. And on the bottom, I'm going to do 4 minus 9 times negative 1 there. So I put negative 1 in for both the i squares. Then I want to simplify this further. On the bottom, we get 4 minus negative 9. Uh, 9 times negative 1, so really it's 4 plus 9, or positive 13 we get on the bottom. Now on top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the order of these. So I get negative 156 when I multiply that, and then this is going to be 104i uh, for that. I switch the order on that because ultimately I want to put this in standard form. The number part has to come first and the i part has to come second. Now I don't want to leave my answer in this form. I want to do one more thing. I want to divide both by 13 because I want to get two separate numbers. Leaving it like this is not sufficient for standard form. It's got to be clearly two different uh, fractions that I'm going to have. So I'm going to do negative 156 divided by 13 and then I'm going to do 104i divided by 13. So I'm going to separate both of those. And then I'm just going to uh, reduce both of those. So if I take negative 156 divided by 13, that's negative 12. And then I have 104i divided by 13, and that's going to be 8. Uh, so I get negative 12 plus 8i, and that would be your final answer in proper standard form.